I know my mic is off, gosh dang it, Aiden. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm setting up the street. Oh, shit! Cleese? Hello, hello, Cleese. Welcome, welcome. Well, you just missed Dead Rising, but you're just in time. Boo! Oh, God! But you're just in time for World of Horror, so come on in. We're gonna play a round of World of Horror. It's a great game. Also, just noise warning. Uh, it makes, yeah, it makes a loud noise when it starts. It's not that loud, honestly. All right, let me get the game in. I hope you had a wonderful stream. What were you playing tonight, Cleese? What were you up to? <laughs> I see those Donkey Kongs. All right, let me know if this is too loud, by the way. Because I can turn it down a bit. Echoes of Wisdom? Oh, heck yeah! World of Horror. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So to end off tonight's stream, Go to eat bed now. Good night, Phoebe. Have a wonderful night, DeLorean. We're playing the new Zelda game. Hope streams well. It's been going great. I've been having a blast tonight. Turn to me gushing about Dream Team. Aw, well, hell yeah. This is World of Horror. Just to prove that I, I ain't no World of Horror noob, here's my achievements. I have all 96 out of 96 achievements. I love this game. Not as much as Dead Rising, but I love this game. It's one of my favorite games ever. I hope you're all excited to play World of Horror with me. So we're gonna hit new story. 30 cigarettes! <laughs> this is my type of game. You don't even know yet. Let's see how long it lasts before I vanish. All right, so I'm gonna try to explain the game as best I can. This is a game that definitely benefits from being explained because if I just play the game, none of you gonna have any... F oh, thank you, please. Yeah, it came out really well. I got a little witch's hat now. This is a game that's not gonna make sense if I don't explain things as I go. So I'll try my best. If there's anything that confuses any of you, let me know. So this is just a tutorial. This, uh, it's all right. You're more or less always gonna wanna do customize the playthrough when you play this game. Quick play's fine, challenge runs are fine. I will be doing some challenge runs this October, but we're gonna do customized playthrough for the night. So let's get into it. And this is a great time for me to do my fun Phoebe Tanuki reading skills. So here we go, everybody. Thank you again for the raid, by the way, Cleese. I appreciate the heck out of that. Uh, I don't care about randomization. It's a it's a roguelike, so. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Road figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the sea inside. Could have made streaming way seed. Ah, oh, damn it, you're right. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new, unknown threats. My graphics are freaking me out, or I need to be able to sleep. Godspeed and good night. Have a wonderful night, Aiden. I appreciate you trying to tough it out. Maybe next time. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth aeons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate myster mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Have a wonderful night, Aiden. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Alright, so I have every character unlocked. Also, I don't know who these two are. They just kind of got added. I think... I think these are characters related to... Steam Workshop support? I don't know who these characters are. Technically, the last character is Kana here. Storm and Doctor are my favorites. Oh, personally, my favorites are the Yakuza and... Uh, Baseball player. Baseball player has a crazy ass story, Mary. Do you know the 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 lowdown on on Yumiko? Because it blew my mind uh, when I got some of the um some of the personal history with uh, them. But yeah, I don't know who these two are. Uh, we're not gonna play. I'm not a lot of characters. Fair enough. Baseball player is a lot of fun. I also like playing uh, Miku or not. Where's Miku? I like playing Miku too. But we're gonna play as. Yakuza driver. There's a lot I don't know about this game. Ooh, rubs hands together. Ooh. This is Haru. Uh, robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake. With his friends dead and mutilated, and eventual horror chasing him, no speed is too fast. Oh, hey, it's not Kiryu. So the base five characters are these five? Or maybe it's base six characters? No, you have to unlock Mimi, I'm pretty sure. So base five characters? Haru is my favorite. So we're gonna start with Haru because he's easy to play. As far as backstory goes, I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to do World of Horror for the backstory. Backstories change uh, how the game plays or, like, things. So, medical history, start with extra EXP and bandages, but an injury can occur. All the way down to, like, 
You must solve the mysteries in the order they appear. Any damage taken in combat can cause curse. We're just gonna play basic World of Horror. There are timelines. Timelines are kind of not that well... I wonder if there's a mod to replace him with actually cure you. I can do... He... That would be sick, actually. Timelines will change uh, how the game plays. Basically, timeline A is where most of the dev time has gone. Timeline B, there's a couple things. Certain investigations change if you're in timeline B, but they haven't really fleshed out this mechanic yet, so I almost exclusively play timeline A. Uh, everything else is good. We're gonna set the difficulty to True Believer? I'm not doing Harbinger of Doom. We're gonna do True Believer. Uh, Infinity Mode I is fun. You can do this for achievements. Uh, scenario Mode... Has not been added yet. Wondering what the purpose of Timeline B was. It changes two investigations to have different endings, and that's about it. It might change more than two, but, like, Timeline B is kind of useless right now. It doesn't change enough to be, like, warranted. I hate to be mean. I love this game, but, yeah. It needs some more tweaking. I have every old god unlocked. Uh, there's a lot of old gods, but we're gonna stick to the base four. And, uh, y'all will have to pay me to use Yoga Thag. I genuinely am not going to touch Yoga Thag, and yeah, I'm just going to leave. I hate this one. This is the worst old god in the entire game. Uh, we will do... We'll do Goizo. I like Goizo. He's an easy old god to deal with. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of the real nightmare. There's something on the ground! <laughs> Yeah, it's Goizo! <laughs> and there's some feetsies. They picked up Kamurocho Locker Key C5! <laughs> Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective glass. Goizo is the god of my friend based their brief Call of Cthulhu campaign on. Oh! It was based on World of Horror. That's funny, because World of Horror is based on Call of Cthulhu. So Haru has the skill Hard Knock. Uh, skills are, are a thing, obviously. A lot of people have perks, uh, different perks, and you can get perks as you level up. Haru starts with Hard Knock, which is plus one damage while under the Nicotine Rush effect. He also starts with Cigarettes, which I'm going to immediately use. They give you one reason back, and they add a status. Uh, the status is Nicotine Rush. You lose one cigarette every investigation, which is everything you do is an investigation. But your combat actions are faster. It is not hard to get cigarettes to keep Haru happy. So this is an easy run, because you're gonna hit fast as Haru. Anyway, we don't go to the lighthouse yet, we're gonna go home. City's changing so fast you can barely recognize it anymore. Choose up to two different initial actions per location. So, you can choose how your city layout is gonna be for the run. If you're running a character with a high dex or int, you want the occult shop. If you're running a character that has the other stats, run the shop for items. Always have the, trust me, always have the police station for downtown. For the school, I recommend keeping the schoolyard because you don't know what investigations you're going to get. Two investigations require the schoolyard. The library is okay, but the school nurse is really useful. I highly recommend the school years. History club is also, if you're running an int character, I guess you could add the history club. For the hospital, there's only two so far. For here, monument is cool, but if you're running Haru or some characters, the illegal den is what you want. Uh, forest doesn't have anything. Apartment doesn't have anything. And go. Check your mailbox. It's empty. So first and foremost, Usually I play the god where you increase doom when you cast spells and then just never use spells. That's also a good one. Yeah, I, I don't really use magical. There's one character made to use magic, and that's the only time I use magic. But uh, this is your house. Uh, you come here after every investigation. Uh, you can look out the window. You can open this drawer. Sometimes there's items in here. Always open this drawer on a playthrough, because there might be something in there for you. You can flip the white switch, but nothing happens. Uh, so there's the TV. The TV doesn't do anything. As far as I'm aware, the phone doesn't do anything yet either, but you can type in numbers. That's fun. Uh, bathing. Bathing is super useful. You can lose the ability to bathe in a playthrough. It doesn't happen too often, but you can. 
uh, on your first bathe, just warm water for a small EXP boost, but you can also get reason or stamina back here. I should mention real quick, you have a stamina meter, you have a reason meter, and you have doom. If either of these hit zero, or if that hits 100, you lose. So you have three different meters to watch out for in this game. Now, we're going to change clothes, because Haru, specifically, or is it, has this as his C outfit. Now tell me if that outfit looks familiar to any of you Yakuza fans. I love this character. Also, while you're in this room, always click this. There's always an extra dollar in here. Money is super useful. Always take that dollar if you can. We can look out the people. Oh, hello. Breaking the law. <laughs> uh, most of it doesn't really matter. You can save here, so on and so forth. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. <laughs> Money is super useful, Kazumi Kiryu. <laughs> you mark down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. So these are your mysteries. You have to complete all five of these before you can go to the lighthouse and finish the run. You can re-roll the mysteries? I, I don't really... I feel like this defeats the purpose of a roguelike. Honestly, to be able to re-roll them, but you can re-roll them. I never do. There's a lot of mysteries. I think there's like 12 mysteries in the game so far, maybe closer to 15. I know them all pretty well. Part of this game's learning curve is knowing what mysteries to do in what order to most effectively run your session. We have Curious Case of a Contagious Coma. That's a tough one. Bloody Brief of Beckoning Bolton. Wow, I'm getting kind of ass luck. Nightmare News of Noisy Nails. That one I might do first. Horrible History of a Household Hell. Actually, we're doing... No, no, this one will do a bit. Vicious Verses of a Violent Vigil. This is the one we're going to start with. So trust me, just trust me when I say I know the order I want to run these in. Out of these five, this one has an easy final boss. This one gets us a free weapon. Always take the investigation that has a free weapon attached if you can. You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. It's the worst thing that could happen. I think it says that like for three different investigations, I love it. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but... Where is everybody? Tip! Explore mansion action! Yeah, okay. This is a case that takes you to a special locale. Not every investigation takes you to a unique locale like this. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. This initiates a fight. This gets you a free item. One mask looks similar to a design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. Curious advice. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Okay, we got a stalker's mask. Plus one damage against human enemies? Hell yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> Takes you some time, but finally, you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. Who's that? This symbol, by the way? Uh, it hasn't really been explained yet, but this symbol is important. People who bear this symbol seem to have a lot to do with the character you're playing as. That mask kind of fucks. It is cool as hell. I like that he's smoking the cigarette through the mask. Young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. I want to pay respects to that old creep. Follow the corridor to the right. All right. Uh, we'll do that. Let's see if I want to say I need to play GGST. <laughs> he drilled a hole in the mask to smoke through. What's GGST? It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare a minute to look through the books. Um... I think this reduces doom? No, it just skips it. Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, fair enough. I... Fair enough. 
Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe the other guests will know. Back to the corridor, you'll see another set of guests. Also might pass out any moment. I think I know Patron now. That's okay, Nova. If you gotta go to bed, go to bed. I appreciate you hanging out, though. Pear is standing next to a window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. He didn't get this with a letter? Here, take mine. Here, we got the pamphlet. 9 p.m. start of vigil. 10 p.m. pray over the body. Clap, clap, bow, bow. We would like to thank you on behalf of our client for participating in this vigil on such short notice. You did say you played Giovanna on Tubbo Streamer. Do I got... No, no, I did say I played Giovanna. I've just never heard uh, Guilty Gear Strive uh, abbreviated like that. Yeah, I play a pretty mean Giovanna, I'd say. Go back to the master bedroom. Clap, clap. So you don't have to do this. This investigation has three different endings. You can 100% not follow the ritual if you don't want to, but we're going to. So anyways, it was clap, clap, bow, bow, right? Yep, clap, clap, bow, bow. I think he got the order right. We're also going to inspect his foot while we're here. There's a weird symbol tattooed on the man's toe. You copy it to your pamphlet. There it is right there. I, I'm going for the ending I usually go for. We gotta play at some point. Also, 100% gonna watch the bottom of this layer since I wanted to watch this game for a bit. Well, hell yeah! It should be on YouTube, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon. And now we just explore a little bit. We gotta pass time forward. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Burn it. Is the Necronomicon. You may never know what's inside the hideous book. That's a good thing. Family members are gathered near the fireplace. You can tell everyone is waiting for the dawn. The guest seems strangely uninterested in this vigil. You should explore more and learn what you can. Let's see what time is it? Light up fireplace. Okay, we are going to light up the fireplace. Oh fuck, we failed the perception check. You couldn't find any firewood to add to the fireplace. Also, you have stats, obviously. This character, Haru, he, he fucks. He has an 8 strength. Uh, storage room is a good place to go, because if you check the wardrobe, you get a meat cleaver. This is what I meant by a free weapon. They're, the meat cleaver is really good, especially if you're playing strength-based characters. One of the better weapons in the game, honestly. But we're going to go back to the corridor. We lit the fireplace. We're going to keep exploring. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. I would not bathe in this fucking place, but... Uh, yeah, we'll take a bath. You bathe happily and with newfound strength. Continue with newfound strength. Midnight, you should go and pray. Okay, what is it? Clap, clap, bow, bow. All right, everybody, let's go back and pray at Grandpa's dead body. Uh-oh. Guys, some, something happened to Grandpa. Guys, the body, it's missing. Well, let's go back to the corridor. Surely our friends will know. He's done a rudder. In his what? <coughs> Where is everybody? Let's uh, let's look for him. Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. This is what a combat encounter uh intro looks like, by the way. Alright, combat in this game is really fucking complex. So you have offensive actions, support actions, defensive actions, spiritual actions. Spiritual actions only matter if you're fighting a ghost, so we're not going to worry about that. Defensive actions are great. Dodge, for example, super useful. You can run away. Running away increases your doom. I have a rule about trying to fight in as many encounters as I can. I try not to run away from encounters. There is strength and running away in this game. This game is based off of Cult of Cthulhu. You are not meant to win without fighting really hard. Although I think in Cult of Cthulhu or uh, whatever that's called, you, you're not meant to win. This game you can at least win. Um, support actions include uh, stuff we can't really do. Looking for an improvised weapon if you don't have a weapon. This isn't a bad thing to do. Game's got some sick... It really does. Ooh! Contagious Coma has my favorite song in the game. Okay, combat. You have kick, which if you don't have a weapon is a good attack. Attack with your weapon. Now you'll see my base chance to hit is 65. 
that is with a strength stat of 8. This game does not fuck around. Like I said, combat is dangerous, but we have a chance of doing 5 damage. <laughs> Your hospital or the BBS. Ooh. We have both of those, I think. Strong attack does more damage, but it takes up more time. You'll see in the top here, we have a timeline. You can only do up to 200 points worth of actions in combat. Um, this is if you have a gun. I almost never use guns. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot of people that use guns, unless you're playing the shotgun character. Uh, attack boost. Your next chance is a 10% chance to hit. That is nice. Or we can prepare. Preparing guarantees a hit. So with that... Oh, we went over, but it's going to let me do it anyways. That should be a clean... 12 damage if it lands, and I'm only going to take 1 damage to both my stamina and reason. Okay, okay. Attacks landed, attacks landed. What if we do... And this is why cigarettes are great. Cigarettes make combat speed faster, which means we're able to pull this off. I... Listen, I don't promote smoking cigarettes, but in World of Horror, it's kind of fucking useful. And dead. You managed to find one of the guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of this place, but... The door is gone. Young woman wrinkles her nose. Yep, okay. Let's not pretend like we want to be here. This <laughs> is very true. So let's see. At 2 a.m., burn an envelope found in the study. It's 1 a.m. At 1 a.m., there's nothing to do at 1 a.m., so we're going to explore. Also, pennant. <laughs> in the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus 2% do. So, okay, 2 a.m., burn an envelope found in the study. We go to the study. I love that the shadow of this plant looks like a person. Seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. We will burn the envelope. Takes you some time, but you finally find an envelope. Following the instructions, you burn it without opening it. You feel weird following obscure orders. Next will be cover the mirror in the storage room. You you can't actually cover the mirror in the storage room. I don't know why that's an option. The round window of the crooked manor tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. All right. <laughs> I don't remember what the official HP Lovecraft term is for the old gods world. I think we might be able to fight this feeling. Let's get lost in the light. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. Riley? Relay it? I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, uh, this is an event that takes you there. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare for whatever is coming. If we're lucky, we can get a katana out of this. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. We might be able to get the katana, I think. I think it's in the icy coast. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. Find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ear are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Okay, so honestly, I going to the old god's realm is a dangerous fucking move. But I mean, you know, you know. Oh, oh, okay, I think the katana's in the Mayan temple then. But we did, we, we perception checked. Sticking out of the ice, you find the hand of a nameless monarch, its fingers long and deformed. Feeling a strange urge, you kneel and kiss it. One of its rings fall to the ground. We got ancient ring. Plus one strength, 5% doom? Fuck it, yeah. Plus one strength. Did my strength go down? Wait, hold on. I think my strength went down from that. What the fuck? Whatever. They're back and say, this reminds me of one of my books. This reminds me of my Japanese anime. So, okay, go in the storage room to cover the mirror. <laughs> you can't actually cover the mirror. They just want you to go in here and see this. Kill them. You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head. Hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Laughing, you're laughing. We're, we're fighting for our lives in here and you're laughing. You think this is funny? And easy peasy. Oh, actually, black hair is a really good item. 
Um, it combines with the sewing kit to make a much better healing item. LOL said the animated head, Lamau. The walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. So you have options here. You can sacrifice both of the guests, or you can carve that cursed symbol into the floor. The bloated corpse of your uncle slowly floats in- I, I love this imagery. Slowly floats into the room as the remaining walls collapse. The contract is not over yet. Uncle? Grandpa? Uh, I don't mind this boss. He increases your doom. He's like one of the only bosses in the game that does that. To me, that makes him the safest fight in the game because, like, who cares if I- lose some doom i i still get to like a second i was fuck i was fucking that one up royally what big eyes you have grandpa he's got he's got pupils all the better to doom you with my dear yeah like we're gonna take two doom this entire fight like watch this uh and we win easiest boss in the game honestly and you get the meat cleaver <laughs> top 10 fights uh number 10 The contract is void. The voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass. The old mansion, nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the other guests, as confused as you. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? You and the other family members finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare of it behind. One thing is certain, though, you'll never open any more letters by law firms in Tokyo. But um, da Uh, Violent Vigil, ending A. 30 experience, minus 2 doom, stamina and reason. Yeah, we're gaming. Oh, every time you finish an investigation, a negative effect happens. This is how you can lose your ability to bathe. Roads leading out of the town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing in there? We're gonna bathe, EXP up, and we're gonna go right on to the next investigation. So with a weapon... Yeah, why don't we get Coma out of the way? If I let this wait too long, it might become way harder. Uh, enemies get stronger the longer you take. This is the bit that makes it really feel like a Junji Ito work, TBH. The way the town, life in town slowly gets worse and worse. Oh yeah, especially if you get like riots and stuff, and then you can see like the smoke in the background, it just slowly decays into hell and anarchy and stuff. <laughs> I have yet to actually read a Junji Ito work. I really ought to, given how much I love this game. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People who try to wake the patients up only end up falling into a coma themselves. The whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to warding the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? I love this song. Everything starts out relatively fine, but then you have riots, the roads are closed, there's choking smog in the air, the coast is flowing, the town's water is no longer potable, radio signal gets cut out. Curfew. Oh, curfew is one of them, I think. Okay. This is how most investigations look. There's a handful, I want to say four to six investigations that take you to unique locations like the Vigil. Most of the game is played on this screen though. You'll notice we have a optional objective. The optional objective normally gets you ending A in most scenarios. So we're going to do that. We're going to investigate the village location twice. Hospital song is great, especially once you get into combat. No one answers when you knock at Professor Takeuchi's door. This is odd, since he's usually punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you something's wrong. You quickly open the door and enter. There's no sign of the professor. The quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt about what happened. But how? And why? Uh, let's scavenge the room for useful items. Perception chance. Success! You rummage through the drawers, trying to find anything useful. The sound of police sirens forces you to grab the nearest item and flee the crime scene. Dummy done, nay, I gotta get out of here. Energy drink's not a bad item. I'll keep that in mind. I don't think I need that for this one, though. And back into the village. You had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end with guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. You stay in the back. Shocked by how grotesque it is, suddenly the guests turn their heads in your direction. 
Your turn now. Uh, let's try to talk them out of this. If this fails, I think we take damage, but we have a high charisma stat, so... Charisma chance, success! Using acute anemia as your excuse, you convince the mourners to make an exception for you. And we got a level up out of that. I got a dummy dash away! Old man from the village hands you a package. It should help you understand the illness. We got the dust of seeing. We're gonna level up real quick. Okay, so when you level up, you get three perks to pick from. You can re-roll them for 4% doom. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Every character has unique perks, and there's generic perks like quick thinking. Irizumi is nice. Core strength is fucking busted. Did I tell you that this character is busted, by the way? You can also pick to level up one of your stats by one per level up, or give yourself three stamina or reason back. We're strength maxing, by the way. So not only do we do plus one damage from core strength, we also have an extra strength stat. Real quick, though, we're gonna hit up the dog store. Here, you is bulking. Fun fact about the dog store, by the way, you can do this. Okay, uh, we're going to actually sell the energy. Oh, you can't really trade it for anything. I need cigarettes. Treats. Uh. Oh, you know, the compass wouldn't be big. Can I sell the black hair? Probably not, right? No, of course not. Puppo. Yeah, a little doggy store. Uh, fun fact if you restock until the doom hits 100, you get a unique death scenario. Five, 500 cigarettes. He's not selling the cigarettes, and I'm running out of time, but I also don't have the money. Cigarettes cost two, I'm pretty sure. Can I sell the dust of seeing? That's evil. I don't want to do that. Uh, money. Is there a way? Oh! I know how to get some quick money. Okay. Who's ready for, uh, Phoebe tip number one about this game? Go to the doctor's office. Click on this shelf right here. You get free painkillers. These give you two stamina back. They also sell for one funds. Uh, I had a YouTube comment from my VOD from last year tell me about this. Shit, didn't know that. Same. This was something a, a very dedicated fan told me about. On top of that, there's a re- Well, the police station is useful for multiple reasons. Uh, mainly because of the threat level. Police can turn a threat level down. But there is one other room in the game that works just like that. You go to the police station. I think it's this drawer right here. You click on this drawer right here. Free pair of handcuffs. Handcuffs are useful, they also sell for one fun. Phoebe Tanuki, hot tips for everybody. Gamer tips for my my wonderful chat. If you ever want to play World of Horror, that's how you can get two easy money on top of the one money you get at the beginning. You better be selling cigarettes. Thank you, doggy. Okay, we bought some dog cigarettes. We're going to use them to keep cigarette maxing. Now we can start the investigation in earnest. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Holy shit, the school is at max threat level. What? Oh, I, I... Okay, one second, I'm gonna do this real quick. Hey, can you go patrol the school for me? Holy shit, so the police can patrol a location for you? It, it drops the threat level down one. It, it's useful. It's useful. I'm kind of nervous about my doom percentage, though. My doom is kind of high already. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Oh, you need a perk for this one, but let's take a peek, horrified. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? Yeah, let's travel downtown. Why is the school so fucked up already? <laughs> well... Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of Ooh Park. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I don't use magic. You need to sneak into the hospital and borrow the information about patient zero. Okay. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know how who you can trust anymore. Oh, God. Oh, we got frostbite. Oh, that's why my strength is down. I see, I see. Add two doom percent at the end of the mystery. Okay, survivor. <laughs> the fuck is that thing? Survivor's guilt ain't bad. Uh, but I am gonna. Oh, I don't have enough money. I need to get rid of this frostbite. This frostbite is hurting us. I need money. Got their name and address. Let's get out of here. 
You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital, watching the sunset. <laughs> Curious advice, it should have been me. Actually, it is kind of accurate for <laughs> Yakuza. That would be perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Uh, I think it's a charisma check. Never mind, it just, okay. Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and a strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. Okay. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. Curious advice. Ah. Uh... They say the ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend, or is there some truth to this tale? If you have the holy candle, you get, like, some reason back, I think. Strength check. Success. You wait the entire night, observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but nothing happens. You're relieved it's just a rumor. That man dabbled in magic. You found a journal, describing a certain village instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems that he tried to contact an entity from the Dream Realms. No combat yet. I was trying to jinx myself. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? I think it's a luck check? I think this is a luck check. It is, and I was right. Even though the metro car is completely empty, you arrive at your station without any problems, saving valuable time. Oh, you never get to see your luck stat, by the way. Uh, the baseball player, my one of my favorite characters to play as, is the luck character. A lot of fun. Quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Okay. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. Another luck check. The elevator doors open. Fuck! Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lie unconscious on the elevator floor. Fuck. There it is. Let's hope you find an answer here. Okay. So. Let's read it first. You've managed to sneak through the floor while avoiding the police and finally reach the quarantine ring. Wink. Where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulses are slowly weakening and their blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. You can investigate, which I think just ends the investigation with ending B. Or you can use the dust of seeing you got from doing the side objective. Curious advice, what the fuck? What in the goddamn? Let's use the dust of seeing, although I hope I don't regret doing this. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. If you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. Well, we gotta prepare ourselves. Creature causing the contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Okay, Dream Devourer does minus two all. Fuck me. Um. No, not enough. But we can do this, at least. How much damage am I doing per turn? That's not terrible. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do, get out. Okay, for this boss, by the way, you can unplug life support. It does a lot of damage, but you're not gonna get the best ending if you unplug the life support of the people in here. That's all I'll say. Okay, so now that I'm at three, I can use desperation. Desperation is only when you have three or uh, stamina or reason left. It doubles all your damage. So desperation into this should be enough. Easy peasy. The creature's severed body falls on the floor and starts melting, slowly. The remaining part slithers back into the now closing hole in the ceiling. You've managed to catch a glimpse of the other side. The sight of the other side makes you fall to your knees. It wasn't the creature's body that you managed to cut off. It was merely a finger. Shaken, you sneak out of the hospital. One thing is certain though, it's the end of this weird illness. Ending A. Dream Eater, the hospital is now safe. Arcane Storm, holy shit. Cthulhu, calm down. My bad, Goizo. Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural, eerie green glow. Reason cost of any spells. Good thing I don't use spells. 
find another key. You go back in here, we're gonna get Reason back this time because we're fucking low on our st stamina and Reason. I want to take it easy, this investigation. Uh, we'll do Bulletin. Bulletin's long. I might have a chance to get my stats back before we fight the boss of this one. Not every investigate. Well, yeah, I don't think every investigation... Not every investigation ends with the boss, but I think almost all of ours this time do. As the decades... I love the Bulletin board music. It is nice. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin, and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics, everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How can so many people all be driven to take their own lives? This is a long one, by the way. I think this might be one of the longest investigations in the game. Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that'll work. Um, I'm not going to go for the optional objective. The optional objective does get you a good result, but it doesn't get you ending A if I remember. Well, no, it, yeah, we're going to do it. Never mind. I'm The way I usually solve this investigation gets me ending B, but it also gets you a strength or a stamina increase, I think. We can't afford that this run, though. Drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip. You quicken your pace and leave the menacing path. Minus one reason. That's fine. I can handle that. Go back into the forest. Woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Fuck, Goizo. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover a note on the body of a young student clutching a note. Oh, I got that fucked up. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death, and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. I'm gonna sip the- if the energy drink ain't worth shit, I'm just gonna drink it now. Uh, the black hair I can't do much with anyway. Alright, so we're gonna go here now. I may have misread- or not read that. Oh! Oh, this is a good- this is good! You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. We can see what the rock's cooking, or we can look for a first aid kit. Damn it, I could have really used that. Can't find the first aid kit anywhere. Could it have been moved somewhere else? While the school library's computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet at her home in the city. Could really use an item to sell. Oh, that might work. Stop right there! You hear a voice come from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! It's the obsessed man, oh gosh. Stop right there, criminal scum. Thankfully, uh, we're a broken character. And we leveled up from that. The Yakuza card, additional slot becomes available in all shops, remove illicit tag from all items, that's not bad. Uh, we could do charisma, one more, I mean, I really ought to do stamina. Yeah, I, I do a lot of damage right now. Let's do charisma and stamina. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your apartment stairs. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. God damn. Woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when, suddenly, the shower head started spraying blood. Trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Um, int check, charisma check. 
The woman sniffs and smiles weakly. You feel like you've prevented something awful. Yeah, let's go! You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in another nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Okay, but we're still investigating our house, I guess. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you notice a find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Okay. I think checking your letters here might activate something terrible. Or reading your letters might activate something terrible. I kind of want to risk that. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I fucked up bad, everybody. I shouldn't have done that. I knew this was going to happen. W what's that? You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. We have a counter at the top now, y'all might notice. My arch nemesis. Yeah, this run is probably fucked now, but whatever. I love something truly evil. This is the best thing in the game. This is such a cool mechanic. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. How many deaths there have been? The hospital is in chaos. The staff look exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. They performed countless dissections to find the answer. Dissections. Instead, they found it. Something truly evil makes me salty because I can't beat it. Only mitigates how badly it fucks me up. But, you know, there's a chance you can survive. Then I guess it's also what you're doing with the Elder Gods. Yeah. Oh god, anatomy horror. Um, oh, it's a ghost. Um... Actually, I have a plan here. I'm going to leave an offering to do six damage because if you have no money, you get an event that helps you earn money and it'll get you two funds. You see how we're at one fund? Watch my logic at play here. First off, we, we got to fight. There's a ghost. Ghosts, you fight different. Uh, we're just going to sever its tie to the world. Money does damage. If you figure out the right bow and clap order and it's random every playthrough, the right bow and clap order immediately kills ghosts. Um, I I think it's a fun mechanic. You don't know how many times you're going to run into ghosts in a playthrough, so, like, we're just going to do this. Okay. With no money, we now have a chance of running into a special event that'll get us money back. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Oh fuck, we got nicotine withdrawal now. I need money. I need money for cigarettes. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Uh, let's confront him. Charisma, right? Yes. You whirl around and see who's behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind old lady who points you to the tombstone you were looking for. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students left in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village trains. That would be fucked if that happened, IRL. You like how fighting ghosts works differently, but also you can just still beat them up, yeah. This is the event. It's a bad time to be out of cash. I gotta do businessmen from uh, Adventure Time. One second. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all, he takes a step closer. You could swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. So Jar of Blood is 2, Stamina, Fondest Memory is 2, Reason, Peace of Mind I think is like 3% Doom. Oh fuck, it's 5% Doom shit. But we get two funds. The man smiles, handing you an envelope. You feel like you made a huge mistake. Yeah, the mistake is that I'm going to see him again in 5 seconds here. Uh, dog, where the fuck are the cigarettes, dog? God damn it, dog. You find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her room. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. 
My name is Moguro Fukozo. People call me the laughing salesman. However, I'm no ordinary salesman because I'm in the soul business. Human souls, that is. You stumble upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Asked the tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. Sorry, I'm just looking. Take your time and see you soon. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? It's quieted. You give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. All right, come on, dog. Show me cigarettes. Yes. All right, we're back in business. Still have that frostbite? It's very nasty. My doom is really high. Um, I, I can probably pull this off. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Kindly refused. Old man frowns and walks away. Not even the, just old man frowns and walks away. Old man frowns and walks away. <laughs> as soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. Investigate computer. Welcome home. Did you like it so far? <laughs> Nah. It's okay. You don't have to be ready yet. Everyone will wait for you. I I I I didn't want to fight the boss. You say yes, and then with the forest note, you have the strength to fight it. I didn't want to fucking fight it. I'm gonna be honest. Fuck ending A, I wanna win. <laughs> The world is full of lonely men and women, both young and old. I'm here to fill the gaps with your lonely souls. Completely free of charge, I might add. A satisfied customer is the only compensation I desire. Your connection suddenly cuts off. When you attempt to reconnect, you find that your number has been blocked from accessing the bulletin. Oh, we got banned. Ejected, you solemnly pack up the computer to give back. However, when you arrive back at the computer club, you find a note on the door. See you all soon! You soon learn that the club's members leapt in front of the train, holding hands. With little other choice, you sell off the computer. Hey, I got money. Guilt weighing on you all the time. So that is bad, but it's also fine. 69, dude. You find the bulletin's number in the phone book, but when you arrive at the address, you find the place empty. The bulletin was moved. Out of desperation, police begin confiscating modems and banning students from computer use. Despite this, the suicides only seem to grow faster. They've spread even further beyond Shiokawa. I, I fucked up royally. <laughs> Your guts twist into knots every time you pass by the computer club's door. I... Fuck. What? I had sworn it was Monday, not Tuesday, right? Time skip to... Oh, cool. Alright, we're gonna probably lose to Doom percentage, unfortunately. But that's just how it goes. Okay. I can still take a bath. I'm gonna EXP this time. Okay, what do I got left? Noisy nails, household health. These are both quick, actually. We should be fine. We'll do noisy nails first. Oh, my bad. Uh, there's a guy, he's robbing nails. Why nails? Did the killer have a hidden motive? Are they sending a message? We must hurry up before they claim another victim. With no leads, a trip to the police station could be useful. Your friend's cousin works there and she could help you. Time is of the essence, so you decide to take a shortcut through the abandoned building site. Okay, this one you need gossip. Gossip is found at the school you heard. World of Horror percent, speedrun do percent. Um, I just hope we get the gossip on the first go. How did you do on your- fuck, okay. What were my parents talking about a horrible accident? They said that the girl's father went mad from grief. Okay, we got it. That's the gossip you need. Could the killing have anything to do with the father who lost his daughter in an accident? And then while I'm at it, I'm gonna do this real quick because it's gonna be helpful. We're gonna get the frostbite treated. We can't get the survivor's guilt treated, unfortunately. Oh shit, we got a level up out of that. That's nice. EQC training is kind of useless. Uh, get more damage. I mean, we could find a firearm. Alright. I'll bite. We'll see. 
Let's go to the police station. Roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Let's get lost. Because I can't do the other thing. Spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Reluctantly, your friend's cousin gives you a photocopied file. You thank her and leave quickly. The school building seems like a safe place to study the file. Honestly, it was getting the Survivor's Guilt curse. The Survivor's Guilt curse is what fucked up this run. I think, at least. Okay, let's go check school. A weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark corner, dark shower room. On the floor, you find a swimsuit thrown over a grotesque leathery coil. Wait, that's not a coil. It's is drain swimmer. Hello, drain swimmer. All right, we do a, we do seven damage with an 85% chance to hit. So, uh, yeah, we don't even have to aim anymore. Thanks to our massive strength stat. Victims of the serial killer seem to be chosen randomly. There's no obvious pattern in regard to age, sex, and education. You should continue your search in the hospital, where victims are. Can't shake off the feeling that you're being watched. Minus two reason. You try sneaking into the hospital mortuary, but the hospital staff are on high alert. You decide to wait here a bit. Maybe you'll manage to find a way in. Okay. You stop by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that promises to revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. I'm gonna decline it? You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. If you fail the check, he can cure you of a status effect, but if you fail, uh, you, you take damage, naturally. One of the mortuary technicians acts strangely. He has left the building and returned twice already. Each time he comes back, an ambulance arrives with a new victim. On your way to the next destination, you stop to you stop the tall man wearing a dirty kabuki mask. He's a talking to a woman and slowly reaching into his pocket. Alert the woman. You decide to act quickly and run between the pair, screaming. The panicked woman flees, but the masked man grabs you by your neck. Before you can protest, he takes a pair of pliers out of his pocket and rips off one of your nails. Why? Minus one stamina. You notice that the man keeps his hospital key in a back pocket. If you could steal it, entering the hospital would be much easier. He's like winced reading that. He just plopped your fucking nail off, yeah. You try avoiding mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. It's Goizo! Hey, Goizo! Oh, I'm sorry. You excuse yourself after bumping into the man. He frowns and hurries away, not noticing that you managed to steal his hospital keys. Hi, Goizo Easy. <laughs> you find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determine the cause of death. Uh, search the cabinet, please. Fuck. Something flashes in the corner of a dusting drawer. Too late, you realize it's a rusty scalpel blade and you cut yourself badly. It's getting dark and the suspicious man is not yet returned. Now is your only chance to check out the mortuary and learn about the serial killer's victims. So because we got the gossip, we're gonna get a different boss battle here. It's something. Using the hospital key, you've managed to enter the mortuary floor unnoticed. Hospital floor is eerily quiet. You prepare your weapon, wondering what's going to happen next. The whole room has a pungent, irritating smell you can barely stand. All the dissection tables are empty and you're afraid to think where the bodies are now. You must hurry up before the suspected killer returns back. Is that a human nail? The masked man jumps from behind the door and you barely dodge his blade. The kabuki killer takes a step back, revealing his gruesome artwork. An unfinished statue of a child made of human nails. Suddenly, the statue springs to life and bites the man's neck. The serial killer is visibly confused and tries to stop the bleeding as a geyser of blood paints the whole mortuary red. The being's face slowly turns towards you. There it is! Tooth child! Or nail child, made out of nails, not teeth. Oh my god, there's a lot of fucking damage that it's gonna do. Holy shit. Wait, okay. 
We can do 24 damage in one turn, though. We're gonna live, but it's gonna be close. I hate this boss. This boss is fucking terrifying and disgusting. Alright, like I said, we're gonna win, but it's gonna be close. The horrible nails beast finally stops moving. Knowing you won't be able to explain it to the police, you trigger the fire alarm and escape before anyone arrives. Father's grief led to the creation of this monster. Hopefully, they will be joined in death. We got another level up, damn. Crimson Moon spot over Shiro Cowboy. Oh, the Crimson Moon. Oh, no. Thankfully, there isn't a boss necessarily for the last investigation. But that sucks. Irizumi. I mean, like, all of these kind of suck at this point. I'm kind of screwed. It's just strength max. Fuck it. Got the key. We are close to winning, but that doom percentage is way too high. It just ain't happening. Horrible history of a household hell. And, like, lowering doom is only available through events. Here's advice. Get that thing away from me! <laughs> there are many old mansions around this town. Ooh, Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by a family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. Alright, let's see. How do I want to go about this? We could investigate the seaside twice, and then we also need to have a partner if we want to get ending A. This one has a lot of requirements to get ending A. Oh, we don't need the forest to it anymore. That can go away. Um... Fuck it, let's just see if we can at least make it to the lighthouse before we lose. With the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Now let's check. Oh, no. It was a complete waste of time. He spent the whole day reading about cute dogs, giant vegetables, and the occasional accident. Find nothing related to the case at hand. Yeah, we fucked up. It's over. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. Oh, you also need a light source. You need a light source? You need to do the side objective, and you need a companion to get the A ending in this investigation. Suddenly, an empty bottle smashes on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. Oh, it's Miku! So this is an unlockable character, by the way. Maybe I'll be able to show it off here. Oh, I'll definitely be able to show it off here. Wait, what's that? So when you fight the rioter and beat the rioter, you get a prescription. Where could you fill a prescription like this? Well, you go to the... I think it's the pharmacy. And then you use the prescription. Oh, you need four funds, though. Okay, you go to the pharmacy with the prescription. If you have four funds, you can then buy the prescription. Then you take the prescription to the illegal den... And then you unlock Miku as a playable character. There's another Phoebe Tanuki tip. Miku is a very fun character to play, by the way. Her stats go up as the Doom counter rises. It's a very fun playthrough. That's how you unlock her. Very different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Damn, Japanese healthcare ain't doing so hot either. Yeah, it's fucking expensive. Four funds? God damn. The ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me. But I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can, can you help me? Talk them out of it. Prisma Chen, success. After a long conversation, they hand you the knife and thank you. We got the ritual dagger. That should be worth money. Nice. We actually never ran into something truly evil. I'm kind of impressed that we didn't run into something truly evil. You make it through the window. I mean, it has to be more than one for the encounter to happen, but, like, I'm surprised we didn't raise the, the counter rate. Make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it! Oh, we got nicotine withdrawal. We're so fucked. The local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final, gruesome artwork. That's just a legend, right? Rifle through the cupboard. <laughs> Luck check success. Inside the cupboard, you find a sewing kit and decide to leave the room before any legends spring to life. Okay, so as soon as we hit resolve, we're gonna lose. I just want to show this off real quick. You take the sewing kit, you take the black hair, I should say, 
and you use it with the sewing kit in your inventory and you get the sewing kit hair. Uh, it gives you three stamina and three reason. Very good. And you can sell it. Anyways, we unfortunately did not win tonight. But hey, I'm going to be playing this every night uh, except for Thursdays. So if not tonight, maybe Friday night. All right, let's say goodbye to Kazuma. I mean, fuck, you can't replace the Ks because... Let's say goodbye to Jerry, uh, Yakuzi. That HP Lovecraft. <laughs> the horrible old god has snatched almost everyone from your city. Weeks later, you and a group of survivors have managed to cover every mirror in the building you currently reside in. When you see your reflection in your lover's eyes, it takes you a while to realize the gut-wrenching implications. You start to scream, for Goizo has found another way in. Absolutely horrifying. Well, I think we did pretty good, though. Oh, uh, we didn't get any new achievements. What the fuck? Curious advice. Don't feel too bad. The odds were against you from the beginning. Yeah, and that's the thing about World of Horror, and that's why this is one of my favorite games. Winning feels super satisfying. Like, you have to know how to play the game. And I like that. It, it takes a bit, but, like, with some time and luck, a little, a little bit of luck and some skill, uh, you can win. And that's what I love about this game. But you're not meant to win. This game, this game is literally stacked against you. <laughs> well, that'll be it, though, for World of Horror tonight to go along with some Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I could explain the game well enough for some of you that haven't played it. Like, I hope it made enough sense what I was doing. Um, I like this game a lot. I highly recommend it. It goes on sale a lot, so maybe it'll go on sale this October for the Halloween sale. Pick it up if you like it. I should also mention, in case you're wondering about the color scheme, uh, this is my choice. There are a bunch of other color schemes you could have, but let's be honest here. Um, why would you choose any other palette? when you can have the Trans Pride palette. I mean, I know that this is also supposed to be like the, um, the Commodore 64 or like whatever old ass PC computer color palette, but no, this is the Trans Pride palette. I don't care. You can't tell me it's not. <laughs> it's my favorite one to use at least because it's one of the easier ones on the eyeballs. Exit the game real quick. All right, let's go back to here. Well, thank you all so very much for coming out tonight. I, uh, it's, it's not often I get to play two of my favorite games back to back like that. This is definitely a stream that I'm going to remember for a while because I kicked ass in Dead Rising. And even though I lost, I kicked ass in World of Horror. And now I have to separate the stream into two videos and upload them. That'll be fun. <gasps> I get to go back to making thumbnails for World of Horror. That's actually a lot of fun for me. And I get to make thumbnails using my new model. Actually, I'm probably going to use the... A spooky model let's be honest here um checking back in buddy well you just f are we rapping we're rapping aiden we're rapping unfortunately you just missed the end of world of horror but uh it was pretty spooky we fought a uh human child made out of Barbara nails Barbara like fingernails Mount Fuji. let's see who's Mount on right Fuji. now that i Mount can raid Fuji. Mount Fuji. Flying saucer. Flying, flying saucer, saucer. Rock, flying saucer departures. Departures. oh Small hey look at that Rosette. Rosette. um Rosette. i'm actually gonna Rosette. steal a page out of nova's book Rosette. last Rosette. night uh Rosette. nova Rosette. raided a streamer called etim etimonim i think i'm getting that name correct Do you need somebody to raid i may have an idea no i got somebody to raid tonight etimonim they are a they're an ai vtuber i don't know how to describe it they're they're a artificial being streamer please never say fingernail no it was a small uh it was a small little girl actually it was a fingernail child but the fingernail man actually ripped off one of our fingernails forcefully um we also saw uh goizo emerge uh by seeing the, our reflection in the eyes of our loved one um uh, we wore a mask we killed uncle grandpa uh when his body was bloated Keep a little toenail under your pillow for the nail man. Keep a little nail under your pillow for the nail man. In case he comes to town. To his lair. Deep under the hospital. That's where he keeps his nails. 
I love World of Horror. I'm actually really happy that um that you've played it, Mary, and that you you know about it. It's fun to have someone to talk about it with. Uh, I I hope I can inspire you to play more of it because it's a really fun game. So uh, yeah, we're gonna raid Adam and him. Adam. Ad- at Monim, I, I hope I'm getting this name right because I really enjoyed their stream last night, Farming Spicer, but I do be a good one. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I got all the expert for you because I obsessed over this game for like two years. <laughs> Before I started streaming, I was obsessed with World of Horror for a bit. So you can you can learn a lot, lot, lot watching these streams, hopefully. I hope to see you around for them, of course. But that will be it tonight for Dead Rising and World of Horror. October just started. We have so much scary stuff on the way. We got FNAF Sister Location. Resident Evil 2 Remake with Mr. Sex. Um, I'm probably going to play Witch's House. Got the Don't Escape Trilogy, or Don't Sleep Trilogy. Um, lots of cool horror games on the way this month. And on Thursday... Uh, Thursdays are going to stay collab days, but I'm not going to be playing Outward. I'm going to be playing horror games that you can all join in on. Uh, hopefully I can get a lot of you in on it. Specifically, this Thursday night, this Thursday stream, and it will be starting at the normal time, not the early time that I was doing for Outward, but normal Phoebe times this Thursday, I will be playing Lethal Company. Uh, I hope to see all of you there, and I hope to play with some of you. Um, I'll try to swap in people. I don't know how often you get, like, the opportunity to swap people in and out in Lethal Company. But it should be a blast. I'm looking forward to that. So Lethal Company on Thursday, Dead Rising, World of Horror on Friday and Saturday, and then next week we'll move into FNAF, hopefully. Um, other than that, uh, movie night. So I want to do... I want to do a movie... I want to do two movie nights. I think... I want to aim for this Saturday. It'll be in the Discord. If I can't hit this Saturday, then definitely next Saturday. I want to do a watch party for three movies, technically, but two movie nights. One night is going to be both Scary Godmothers, and then the other night I want to do a watch party for Little Shop of Horrors. So if either of those movies sound like a good time for all of you, then uh, I'll try to get the I'll try to like iron out the plans, and I'll have an announcement either tomorrow or Thursday with the details. If any of you want to come and watch the movies in the Discord with me. Uh, we're going to watch some spooky movies. What was the first movie? Uh, Scary Godmother, both of them. We're going to watch Scary Godmother 1 and 2. Def want to see Shop of Horrors. Well, hell yeah. Little Shop of Horrors is one of my favorites. And, you know, if I'm feeling it, maybe we can do a third night and we can watch Evil Dead 1 and 2. Maybe Army of Darkness, but really just Evil Dead 1 and 2. <laughs> uh, I'd like, I like to do movie nights in the Discord, so that should be a lot of fun. Evil Dead is great, yeah. Never seen to them. They're good. They're good, but we're going to start with Scary Godmother because that's childhood memories for me. And I know it's probably not going to be good. We better be there or fucking else. I know it's probably not going to be like the... It's probably not going to have aged well as a movie, but I want to watch Scary Godmother all the same. With all of that said, that'll be it for tonight. I think, worst case scenario, will probably be funny bad. Honestly, yeah, I think it'll be funny bad. I mean, Zane's in the movie, so like, how bad could it be? <laughs> One of the characters looks like Zane. <laughs> I just remembered. Um, true. His face gets stuck in everything. Um, I'll have to, like I said, iron out the details because I don't want like. It, I kind of hope like I have a good amount of of you guys now, a good amount of friends, followers, stream friends. I don't know what to call them. I wouldn't want all twenty of us talking over each other in voice chat. So. I have to decide whether or not I'm the only one that talks or if we all just are silent, but then I make like a separate chat for us to to message in and type in while watching the movie. We'll see. The fans. The fans. Exactly. I'm honestly really blessed to have all of you as fans. Blessed by who? I don't know. Goizo. But I really appreciate all of you. I, I don't feel like I've said that in earnest in a while, but you all are amazing and you all make these streams fun and i'm glad i can play games for you and gush about things i like uh october is a special month for me even though i don't do horror well i love horror themes and stuff like that if you couldn't tell from dead rising and uh world of horror but i'm gonna get going now uh Edaman is playing something called the witness Ooh, the witness that's a fun game so make sure to say hello be nice um and yeah just remember they're an artificial intelligence so they could probably hack your ip account and take all of your v bucks <laughs> but with that i hope you all have a safe if not spooky night take it easy have wonderful wednesdays and i can't wait to see all of you on thursday for some lethal company the company will in fact be lethal have a wonderful night everybody
Good night.